Hi all, my name is Brian. I'm a software developer at My Movies. I have with me today an iPad, and uh, I have a Windows Media Center PC running My Movies for Windows Media Center. The iPad is running My Movies for iPad, and uh, we're about to release a software update for the iPad, uh, which we would like to uh, show you a demonstration of. Um, just open My Movies here, so you can see this, um, and click on settings and then I can scroll down click on my movies for Windows Media Center control and uh, enable this and you can see that the device automatically detects two hosts uh, through Bonjour um, which is, is uh, something that is built in with the, within iTunes um, so you have to install either Bonjour or, or iTunes on the host PC um, the devices here is, is named Bedroom and Living Room. They are actually a Windows Media Center host PC and a Media Center extender over here. Um, but you can go in and rename them from, uh, from the device. And uh, if you rename them from one device, it will be renamed and, and seen with the same name on, on all devices. If you have multiple iPads or if you have uh, iPads and iPhones and so on, uh, the iPhones will get this uh, control functionality later on. Um, now you see that in the bottom here I got a remote tab which I can click and uh, I get an option here for uh, controlling the media center PC I can click on the not connected here and uh, I can select which, uh, which area I would like to, to control just click the living room which is our host PC and uh, you can see that I have all the buttons here that you have on a written on Media Center remote. Some of you might uh, see the resemblance between this and uh, the written Media Center remote here. Um, it was designed to uh, look and function the same way. Uh, however, it, it of course is, is designed for functioning well with the with the iPad and the size. Uh, you can see that if I hold it in my hand like this, I have the main functionalities uh, in within these two two fingers reach area. So I can just click here and uh, I can control see the media center PC over here in the background. I um, can just open my movies like this, navigate around, can navigate up to search there and uh, then I can pull up a keyboard from the iPad and I can just type in here see I can locate my movie on the screen here like this so this gives you a full remote control functionality uh, from your iPad to your Windows Media Center PC and uh, as mentioned you can control multiple devices. The device can, can uh, the software can can control uh, an unlimited number of Windows Media Center hosts, and to each host can be up to five Windows Media Center extenders connected, and everything is is, is configured automatically uh, once you uh, have installed uh, either iTunes or Bonjour on on the host machine. I just click on the input here and switch it over to the second system this is our media center extender again this could be in a, in a different room um, and top here I just click the connected to and select the bedroom here and you can see that I can navigate this device as well so all the devices you want to have handled from your iPad you can do so here um, then uh, just switch back to the living room PC here and you can see that by switching up here I'm back in control of of this device so like this then uh, when you have your movie synchronized to the uh, to the iPad you can go into my collection here you can view it with the movie wall as a list view this view with small icons here. It's a bit difficult to tap in, 
from the top here and um, I can pull up a cover flow if I, was, if I would like to do that as well. So I'll just go in here and uh, locate the movie I would like to watch like this and see you can see a trailer here but what I would like to do now is I would like to press play on Windows Media Center and it will ask me if I want to play this in the bedroom or in the living room. I'll select to play this in the living room. Now this this movie has several playback options. It has both the Blu-ray and the DVD version, so I can select which one I would like to playback. So now I'll just select the DVD version, which is faster to start, like this. And you can see that the playback is now started on the media center here, and the iPad automatically navigates me to the remote control of the same device, so that I can navigate the DVD menu or whatever I, I want to navigate here like this. So again you have full control over uh, the media center from the remote control here and uh, you're able to start the movies directly from the iPad um, and later on also from iPhones or uh, it will come to Android devices as well. So uh, that's all I wanted to show you for now and uh, thank you for watching and bye bye.